Hey everybody, how we doing today? So in today's video, I am going to be building my replacement camera stick extendable camera pro, which I just basically lost, unfortunately, sadly. But uh, I've had that one, or the one I lost, for about five years and it just worked exceptionally well. The, the main part of it was that the tubing is aluminum and all the bits and pieces of it are made out of plastic. So it sounds kind of hanky-janky, but when you're dealing with salt water, uh, it's very important not to have steel because it'll rust and corrode. Um, for example, I went from this to a, uh, a standard one from Home Depot, same brand, but it, I found out the tubing is made out of steel and it instantly rusted. It would get uh, rusty water just dripping out of it. The joints were sticking and get locked up. So it just wouldn't work. I guess if you're doing fresh water, it might last a little longer, but this aluminum pole just did really well for me. Um, the reason why these poles are important, uh, especially if you're filming, I use it for underwater filming because I could kind of stick it out as an extension, get a little bit closer to fish and lobsters and holes and that kind of thing and use it as a shark stick, kind of keep those sharks away. Um, and then when you extend it out, this is a four foot base but extendable up to eight foot. So I can get those high angles off the top, that overhead view, uh, put it off to the side. It works really well with the wide, super wide view of the GoPro and gets that full length side view of it. And then again, just being able to stick it into the water, either four foot or eight foot, when I'm sight fishing and I see fish laid up and I wanna kinda of get close to them and film them, it just lets me get a little bit closer there. So. The pole is very important. Uh, I had to track this down. This is a Mr. Long Arm model 9248. It's the four foot extendable to eight foot. I don't think they're being mass produced anymore because it was hard to find, but I, I found it on eBay for like 27, 28, and they range up to about 50 bucks. Uh, elsewhere, the parts that we're gonna need is some uh, standard PVC adapters. This is a half inch size coupler. So it's basically a tube, but it's threaded on both sides. It's for joining two sections. And then a half inch plug basically with the uh, flat cap on it. And that's just gonna be our top. This thread happens to match up exactly with the thread for the, uh, the adapter side where you normally put on like a paint roller or uh, squeegee for cleaning windows on the end of these. Uh, this half inch uh, PVC adapter screws on perfectly so and it just wedges on there exactly. Even though the threads aren't meant to be the same, they do thread on and tighten up and it works really well there. So we're going to need that and then in order to mount the uh, GoPro we're going to need one of these disc style, style GoPro adapters. So it's basically just a round flat disc on the bottom with a uh, 20, it's a quarter inch by 20 uh, threaded uh, little insert there. So we're going to drill a hole, put that there, use these uh, quarter by 20 by half inch stainless steel screw. And then I use a washer because there's a little bit of a gap where it bottoms out into the, uh, the GoPro adapter there. That takes up the extra space. And then we just run the screw up in the middle there and that locks that there. And then we could put our GoPro on there. And beyond that, I'm gonna add some uh, uh, pipe insulation uh, just to give it a little bit of floatability. Although now I'm not quite sure which would be better for the, the, the pole to just instantly sink so you know where exactly where it sank and you can come back and get it. Or if floating's better where Unfortunately for me, I don't know where it fell out and then wind and current, it's who knows where, Cuba or Texas. But I've got that. And the only other thing that I've got is the reason why I lost mine is these poles will f are 100% of the time sitting in one of my rod holders. So they're absolutely not falling out unless I flip, but never done that. But they're not going to fall out on their own. The problem I had is that I ran an oversized grip, which was like a bicycle grip on there, and it was just a bit big to fit into, into my rod holders. 
So in order for them to fit, I really had to push really hard on it in order to seat it all the way up. And it definitely wasn't going anywhere then. I just happened to be filming a bunch of tarpon and redfish that were coming up to my kayak. So every time they did that, I was wanting to be able to grab the camera and film them and then be able to put it away and get it real easily versus wedging it down and trying to get it out. Unfortunately, what happened is because it was just barely sitting in, I didn't think about it when I left, headed out, got into rough water, and then I think it just kind of swiveled out and then just fell overboard and I didn't hear it or know it and it's basically gone now. But uh, so I'm gonna come up with some sort of adapter. You can't have a lot of slop because it'll rock back and forth and you're gonna get a lot of noise and vibration through the, cam through the camera. So uh, I want it to be fairly snug inside there but not super hard to get in there. So that's one part I'll be working on. But otherwise, let's build this up real quick and then uh, you can check it out. All right, so that's where our finished look is going to end up like. Uh, I'm building some spares so I can kind of go through it with you. So these are the different components, the two pieces of uh, coupler and the uh, end cap there. Need the quarter by 20 by half inch screw, a washer, and one of these GoPro discs there. Um, I'm going to just drill a hole in the center and that's where our bolt is going to go through. Let's get a starter hole. And we're going to do a, another hole. Alright, that's going to allow our screw to go through. And then we're basically going to take our screw and run it up the center and that's going to create a stud for our coupler to basically, our GoPro adapter to uh, screw into. Alright, we got the screw through there so it's just sticking out a little bit. Uh, this one actually worked out where I'm not going to need the spacer. Just depends if you how much gap you have there. This one I think is going to sit flush enough where it won't need it. And just tighten it on there. Boom. And that's our adapter there. Uh, you could glue it up, super glue or something just to make sure it's super stable there. But that's ready to go. All right, our GoPro mount is done. I did a couple of them because I use them for uh, other things as well but uh, beyond that you can see this is a fine thread this is a pretty wide gap thread but it tightens on perfectly so you just screw it on and it feels like it's just going on there normally but it goes and wedges just the same and I'll bottom out like that and then uh, just something a little different that I did is just to be sure, and I did this on the pole I lost the night before. It's the same thing when I got the case. I put that on the night before, and then I started thinking, boy, I sure am putting a lot of money and time in this rig. I better make sure I don't lose it. So I just put on some monofilament, uh, did a uni knot, tied it to the threads of the pole, did a very small knot, loop knot on the end here. And what that's going to do is to screw onto the screw for the GoPro mount and that's going to basically hardwire the GoPro to the stick that. there we go and what that's going to ensure is that if any of these components come apart uh, it's still going to be attached to the pole. So if this unscrewed, this unscrewed, this unscrewed from that, uh, it wouldn't make a difference. This could fall off, but it's just going to end up dangling on the pole here. So just a sense of security. Just don't lose the whole pole. So that's the head unit. Very easy to build there. Gives you full flexibility. Turning it, getting different angles. So let me throw the uh, insulation on there and we'll be done. All right, so we've got our pipe insulation zip-tied, so it's got some flotation to it. 
Uh, now the only thing I have to do is to come up with a end piece. Uh, this is the PVC that I basically am using for my rod holders. So as you can see, you don't want that vibrations and noise and stuff, especially since it's hardwired to your camera. So I just need something. Yeah, see that's gonna be, that's not gonna work out there. I want something that's gonna be very easy in and out so I don't have the same problem I had. I might see if I can get a, another bicycle one that just will fit this uh, size hole there. So I'll have to take a look. For the handles, uh, a standard bicycle grip will slip over this end here. It's a little bit bigger than these, but these stretch. Uh, this one unfortunately has that knob on the end so it won't go into the end of the rod holder. But uh, I basically just need to find something like that, a um, little bit of bulk to it, and then, uh, so that'll take up that slack. So otherwise I might just get some insulation, some fabric or just whatever and just tape it and just have a bulge on the end to just take up that gap. So there we go. All right, there you go. That's how you build my GoPro selfie extend a stick there. Uh, I kind of had to have this because some upcoming videos I want to really get down and dirty and show you what's going on out there. Uh, so definitely had to have it. Got the new GoPro 7 Black for it. Got all the replacement components there. So I'm back to square one again at least. So expect to see some above videos, underwater videos, and everything in between. So thanks for watching and I will see you next video. Bye.